Okay, I'm um, going to try a little unboxing here. And this is a new. Um, at the moment, as I'm recording this, I'm recording it through the audio that's attached to the camera, the onboard um, audio. So I'm going to unbox something here. Let me get the thing open. An unboxing on camera should maybe take a few minutes. And I'll just have a quick look at this, see what's in the box, and then I'll do a review a bit once I've got it set up. And this is a Rode film kit, filmmaker's kit. Um, you've probably all heard of Rode mics. Send me a lot of paper. Okay, that's uh, that's the box empty. So what we get here is uh, the Road Link filmmaker kit, um, and essentially it's a, a wireless or a wireless enabled transmitter and receiver for the audio um, that I can now attach to my camera. The good thing about this is I can attach it both to my handy cam I'm recording from just now and also to a DSLR. And if I buy another receiver, I could, in theory, broadcast to two cameras at the same time. Okay, so the boxes are handily marked, or each side. It's actually one, <laughs> it's one box with two parts there. So, let's have a look at the transmitter first. And it comes comes with instructions, we'll put them there. In fact, it's the smallest instructions I've ever seen. Box. And in here, in this nice little baggy, a wee box, baggy sort of thing. Uh, what's in here? Okay, here's the uh, So here's the microphone. This will plug directly into the um, transmitter. And you can't really go too wrong with it. This will go into the transmitter here. And it's nice and tight, which is great. Bed a little chance of it popping out. So you get a transmitter and a mic as well as um, this is a, a, hot, a cold shoe adapter fixed to the bottom of the camera <laughs> I thought there would be inside these bags the little covers for the mics it doesn't appear to be the nice big clip clip it onto the, the shirt you can see that ah, here, still in the bag. Uh, we have what is known as a dead cat. That sits on top of the mic when the, the weather is especially windy. Muffles out a lot of the wind. Uh, hoping so, yep, we've got another little section here. Okay, that's not going to fall off uh, very easily there. I'll not put the clip on there just now. So there you have it. That'll go. This little bag bit's a, a waist clip. That'll go onto your waistband. A belt clip, sorry. Out the road, and you can run the, the cable up to here. So that's that. I just want to double check see if there's any batteries in it. Press this little button on the back, slide it to you. No, it's going to take 
two AA batteries, which I will get in a moment, and I'm guessing this receiver is going to set up just as easily and just as quickly. Receiver is going to sit on top of the camera, some paper, some Ezorb. We'll put all these bits and pieces that I'm not ever going to look at or use again back in here. We'll leave the dead cat in there just now. <coughs> and this one here is again quite easily set up. It's a good small size cable. I had um, an another system that, that I used to use a zoom um, mic and a cable on it was horrendous, horrendously long. So that goes on there. Brings on very tight, I have to say. Feels just a little loose. But that goes on here. Uh, there's a, a cold shoe mount already attached to this side. This will sit on top of the camera. And this, so you'll speak into here, and this will receive it and feed the audio. Now I'm going to need to go and get some batteries. So we need four AA batteries. Don't come with any batteries, which is a bit disappointing, but there you go. So four AA batteries and we'll be back for the next segment. <coughs> okay, that's uh, batteries in. So it's quite simple, two AA batteries and Let's uh, let's get these paired up. To pair them up, quite easy. Turn the on switch on each one. What I should add is when you open these battery compartments up, if you stop just short, you'll see that there is a, a little red button. Uh, this little red button is for syncing. So hold. Hold that one in for a second, and then that one in for a second. And they've got a flashing P on this one. There we go, both on channel one and ready to go. So I'm going to attach these to the, the camera. Um, this is a microphone and when I speak into the microphone just now, even though you're not seeing it, um, it's, it's being picked up by this. Now, when you attach it to your camera, go into your camera settings for the audio um, different cameras have got to store somewhere else and turn it down to zero or, or to one it's very very low because the camera's own audio will still be on at the same time essentially you want all the audio to be fed by these so now we'll get attached to the camera so the difference in the audio should be quite apparent I've now got the receiver on top of the camera connected to an external mic uh, position I'm only about 10 feet away from the camera, so it's not really a great example. And I'm going to do a little test, distance, etc. once we go outside. Okay, one of the things that suggested um, in the setup for this is to go into your camera's microphone settings and turn it away down to zero. So I've just did that and I should have a decent level, but I can turn the dB up here. At the moment, I've got dB is minus, I think it's actually set at zero here. So let's just have a quick look. Um, so let's go plus 10. So we've got plus 10 on the transmitter here, and the receiver is at zero and the video is at zero, so hopefully this is a better 
audio. So one of the things we might end up doing is a, an outdoor shoot. Um, hopefully you're seeing me out here. I'm through glass now. Um, going to be easily 40 feet now away from the camera. I might be a bit more zoomed in because I've zoomed the, the lens in a bit, but we're about 40 feet away and hopefully you're hearing this now. Okay, the final test in this short, and by no means <laughs> scientific set of tests, is through glass and probably minus line of sight. Um, so far the tests all look good, um, perfect quality of audio, but now um, the silver car outside there, I'm going to go to the other side of that car, going to be some trees between um, the camera and myself. And we'll see how it works. So you're going to hear a little bit clumping now. And at the moment I'm in a vestibule, so you may or may not, a little porch, be picking up some interference. I'll discover that when I get back. Forty, fifty feet. If you're hearing me now, happy with nice bit of gear, sturdy feeling. Um, so far, can't complain about that. And again, our glass test. You should be seeing and hearing me now. So here we come back. Now this little area here. I'm thinking we're going to get some interference. Um, I've got an electric box here where the power meter comes into the house. Um, so I suspect if we're going to be interference, it'll be from here. But here I'm on now, I'm back in the house. And the, the one thing I would say about this bit of gear, one of the things I would say about this uh, camera, I'm just going to put this back a little bit. So one of the things I would say about this camera is, um, uh, sorry about this, uh, the Rode Filmmaker kit. It's definitely robust. It, it's plastic, but it's hard plastic. I think if you dropped it, you wouldn't probably damage it. Never a good idea to drop your gear, of course. Um, and the second thing I like about it, I've got DSLR, and I've also got um, a 4K video that I'm recording off just now. I'm recording in HD as opposed to 4K, but sometimes we'll be doing 4K and this comes with a cold shoe mount already attached to the receiver and if you wanted you could put the the another cold shoe mount on the transmitter and that would give you the option of you know having no mic on you, you just have the mic close by you you could have it stand beside you on a tripod which would also give you the if you if you connect it to a tripod it would also give you the added benefit you could use a monopod maybe use it as a zoom um, sorry a boom arm um, so it gives you a little bit of flexibility that, that probably some other don't these cold shoe mounts are great they're fairly deep which is good if you like me have um, a Panasonic or just a handy cam as such the, the cold shoe mount on that is recessed and some of the other ones I've tried on that it doesn't quite go into the recess, you really have to force it and the prospect of damaging the cold shoe mount, it, 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 it put me off, you know, using the other type. This comes with a, a, a you know, it's, it's a fairly um, deep cold shoe mount, so regardless of how, how recessed your cold shoe mount is, you should be able to attach this uh, receiver to it. So, that's fine, I'm going to do some outdoor stuff, I'm going to do some photography, possibly in a river, possibly not, we'll see, um, and I'm going to use this and we'll just see how it picks up other sounds when we're outside and see how much distortion it has. Okay, um, I've just replayed or, or listened back to the last bit of audio and slightly disappointed that there was a fair bit of distortion and the distortion kicked in before I got um, under or in amongst the trees. Now, that could be for many reasons. I'm, I'm, I'm 
video camera is in a conservatory at the back of the house. I've walked straight through the house, so there's a few electrical appliances in between. Um, I've got a freezer here, another fridge freezer, also another fridge freezer, TV, um, a router. I've got, so there's lots of electrical things that may or may not have caused the distortion. But when I got line of sight and I got in amongst the trees, um, I was chattering away and this was not picking up any of it. So, disappointed in that, but it's, it's not typically how I'm going to be using this. I will go out tomorrow um, and I will go into some trees and we'll maybe take the camera with us and, and we'll do some photography and film it and just to see what kind of uh, pickup we get. Look forward to it. Um, would I recommend this over other system? I've had a Zoom. Um, it's actually a recorder when you're recording the sound separately. For me, recording straight onto the memory card is far better than, than doing the, the extra step, having the audio separate. When I go and edit this audio, I can make it separate if, if I wanted to tweak the audio or, or do other things to it to get rid of any interference. I'm not going to do anything like that for this first video. What you're hearing is exactly how it sounds. Um, straight out of the box so to speak I won't be editing this at all although I may I may do some editing in Photoshop for myself so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your kit if you get one